Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today, I just wanted to talk about a few things. If you're holding altcoins right now and you're looking at Bitcoin flying to the upside and you're wondering, man, I don't know, should I be in this altcoin? Should I sell it and go into Bitcoin? If you're that kind of person, this video is for you because I'm going to explain why people get burned so many times in the altcoin market and just the broader crypto market. And partly because people FOMO, people chase. And one of the biggest things I learned back in 2018 was to not chase, but to stay planted. For example, let's say you like the coin Autumn, uh, just using that as an example. And I, I haven't even looked at the price. I don't know what Autumn's doing. I don't know if it's up or down. Just using it as an example. Um, let's say you like it, right? And you bought a lot of it over the last year. And it's not doing anything. But, you, but you're looking at Bitcoin. And it's flying to the upside. I mean, look at this. We have, this was the whole bear market right here. Boom. And now it's all the way back up here. So you're not that far away from new all-time high, just this area right up here, right? So um, you're probably wondering, you know, maybe Autumn, Adam, I don't even know if that's, if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, Cosmos, I guess that's what it is. Uh, maybe it's down here and it's not doing anything and Bitcoin's way up here. So you're thinking, man, w what's going on? Why is Bitcoin flying to the upside, right? And and Cosmos is, is, is not doing anything. So here's another example, Matic, okay? A lot of people like Matic, right? Let's say you have a bunch of Matic. We'll look at the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is flying to the upside and Matic is just like, wah. So if you're wondering why that is, then this video is for you. Okay, so I'm actually going to give a shout out to Blockchain Backer. He has a video out there that brilliantly explains this phenomenon, right? And basically, uh, and he put that video out over a month ago, by the way, and it's actually playing out as we speak. So shout out to BCB. If you don't know who that is, I would definitely um, consider subscribing uh, to his channel because he puts out really good information. He's been around the block many times. He doesn't play on emotions. He's, he's a structured guy like me. He's a fractal guy, right? So I use that as well, but I'm primarily that but also Elliott Wave and and different other strategies like TD Sequential and you know different things like that so basically if you're wondering why is Matic right just using Matic as an example it could be any coin it could be BNB or SHIB or Uniswap or whatever you know um polka dot i don't know pick pick whatever coin you want maybe your coin is doing great maybe you're like i don't care what bitcoin is doing my coin's up 30 percent today like for example casper I, I i don't know i've done a video on casper i'm a big that is one of my small cap i don't even know if it's a small cap now medium cap coins that that is my gem right there so that is one of my um just fyi that is one of my gems uh, I really like Casper. Um, if you want to know more about Casper, again, another shout out. I would definitely check out Kevin Cage. Go to YouTube. Not right now, but go to YouTube. Type in Kevin Cage Casper. And he puts out phenomenal, fundamental work on Casper. But yeah, just uh, I digress. So basically, the, the issue here, right, is... Um, Bitcoin is flying to the upside and altcoins are pretty much stagnant. Okay, so here is the best example. So right here is total three. This is all the altcoins. This is every single altcoin except Ethereum. 
right? So this is every altcoin except Ethereum. This is total three. This right here is Bitcoin. So, so we're going to talk about what's happening right now. So um, most people, I would think, are altcoin investors, right? They like altcoins. Um, there's a lot of Bitcoin maxis out there. Usually they're the OGs of the space, right? And I would be a Bitcoin maxi too if I got in in 2009, 2010 buying Bitcoin under a dollar, right? Because you want to push the narrative that Bitcoin is the one, the king, the only one. Everything else is crap. Don't look at it because you're basically tooting your own horn, right? You're, you're, you're basically wanting your investment, um, you know, you're talking your book, or I guess that's the way you say it. Um, but yeah, you, you want your investment to do well. And, you know, most people like myself, I like altcoins because altcoins provide more of a percentage gain and a lot um, faster pace, right? And then besides, Bitcoin is, you know, it's $43,000. How much more can you percentage you get if you if it goes to a half a million dollars like Bloomberg suggests? That's not really a big percentage move. I mean, it is, but compared to some altcoins, it's not. And I don't think Bitcoin's going to hit five hundred thousand, at least not in the next three to five years. I, I mean, I'd be surprised. Um, maybe in the next five to six years, possible. But um, I think between a hundred and three hundred is a good target for Bitcoin. But okay, okay. So the answer, right? Why is the altcoins are just chilling down here and Bitcoin is trending higher? Look at this divergence. Bitcoin is going higher, altcoins are flat. Bitcoin is going higher, altcoins are flat. So what does this do to people? This psychologically hurts people. It doesn't hurt me because I'm aware of the situation, but it might affect certain people, right? And I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't worry. I'm going to tell you why you should be planted, right? Don't chase coins. Don't follow other things, right? Look at the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is way up here. The broader altcoin market is way down here. So why, like for, I'll name somebody, um, Bob. Let's say Bob has... $10,000 worth of altcoins and he got into crypto maybe um, over here, right? So he's looking at Bitcoin flying to the upside. So he's thinking about selling it. He wants to sell his altcoins and chase Bitcoin, right? Well, that's actually not a good idea. And the reason is because look how high Bitcoin already went. Bitcoin already retraced a lot of the way up, right? So it could be discouraging to see your altcoins not really perform. Like uh, like XRP, I'll give you an example as a good example. XRP is still at 60 cents. It, it feels like it's been there forever, right? And a lot of people, you have to be a hardcore believer to hold something like that in, you know, in order to have the conviction, right? You got to be a believer. But more importantly, you don't really need to. You just have to know what the data says. And the data suggests, right, that when Bitcoin goes up, that's when altcoins stay flat, right? When Bitcoin, so here, here's, the, here's the answer right here. So, when Bitcoin starts to move and goes, you know, starts pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping in a bear market, right? Where this people say it's a bull market, a bear market. But right now it's just a retracement. Bitcoin is retracing its move from 60K. It's a retracement. If we get through the retracement levels, then yes, it's a new bull market. But right now Bitcoin is in a major retracement. You know, it, it was down here at uh, 15, 16K, and now it's all the way pushing almost 44K. Big, big move, right? Um, so when Bitcoin 
is in a bear market, when, when the whole market is in a bear market and it's going into a retracement, even in a bull market, right? When Bitcoin is going higher and it's pumping, the altcoins sort of lag and they kind of go like this, right? But then when Bitcoin starts to consolidate and pull back a little bit, but still remaining bullish, right? It's consolidating in a range. That's when the altcoins catch up. And they catch up very, very fast. Like 20, 30, 40% in a day, right? And they catch up very fast. So, for example, let's say Bitcoin keeps pushing up a little higher and the altcoins just keep going like this. Then Bitcoin kind of pulls back a little bit and and does this type of action where it just kind of goes sideways. Then the altcoins just go like this. They catch up very fast. So you may say, well, I don't believe it and it doesn't feel like that. And yes, right now it doesn't feel like that because you're, you're holding your altcoins, not necessarily talking to you, but the majority of people, right? They're holding their altcoins, whatever it is, and they're looking at Bitcoin. Bloomberg and CNN and this and that and all these Twitter and and YouTube Bitcoin Bitcoin 40k it's going to a million dollars what a ha what happens to people they're holding their altcoin they're looking at it and they're going it's not doing anything and what do they do they get jealous they're looking at Bitcoin people right most of the maxis right um, they're looking at it going way higher to the upside. And they're looking at their all. And by the way, it wasn't even that big of a percentage move um, from here to here. I mean, yeah, that's 60 percent. But who cares? Right. For example, Casper's up 20 percent just today, just today. Right. So not a big deal. So if, if the if the broader altcoin market wanted to catch up, you're looking at a hundred and fifteen percent move if it if it caught up, which I believe it will right so that's what i'm saying usually the altcoins go at the end i'll give you a great example okay i don't know if you remember this but bitcoin 2017 okay bitcoin 2017 bitcoin went all the way up to twenty thousand dollars and you say yeah i know that who cares okay but where was xrp during that time I'm using XRP as an example, as an altcoin example. XRP, I believe, wasn't even above a dollar, right? Then Bitcoin topped out at 20K. Then it started to dump, right? And then it started to go into a retracement. When Bitcoin went into the retracement, that's when XRP exploded from nothing all the way above $3.30. An amazing accomplishment, right? But the people who sold their XRP to go chase Bitcoin, knowing that Bitcoin had already went up multiples and multiples and multiples, that's why you don't chase. Look how high Bitcoin is up. It's all, the, here's the bottom. Right here. And Bitcoin flew all the way up here. So if Bitcoin is chilling up here, you don't want to sell your altcoins down here to go chase up there, right? You don't want to do that. You want to wait. You want to, you want to wait until the altcoins catch up. And it might not feel like it's going to catch up, but if you're in the right altcoins, I think it will. Like anything in the top, 20 i think you should be good right maybe even further down i don't know that whatever altcoin you have is your decision right if it what i look for in altcoins is number one what's the inflation rate you got to know that right the inflation rate is very important because uh you know like one coin that i i like that has an inflation rate is casper um the market cap was higher when it was the price was lower, right? Than when the price was higher. So, meaning, for example, let's say there's a coin out there with a twenty billion dollar market cap, 
and the price is at $5, okay? Then the price goes to $10, right? And the market cap goes up to $40 billion. But then inflation kicks in, and now the price dumps down back to $5. But guess what? The market cap is not only higher. I mean, not, it's, it's higher than $20 billion. So if a market cap is five bill, uh, $20 billion at $5 a coin, and then the price dumps down to $4, you would think that the market cap would also dump as well. But sometimes the market cap goes higher as the price falls. That means there's, there's inflation right there. So that's number one, inflation. Number two is developers. Go to the website on, on the coin. Look at the developers. Look at what they, look where they went to school. Look what they studied. Look at their, their social media. Try to figure out, you know, who these people are that are developing. And always make sure that they are expanding, not contracting. Because a lot of people, um, like, I think maybe EOS, a lot of developers left, right? So if you see developers leaving, then it's probably something you want to um, reconsider, right? So uh, you, you want to look at developers, you want to look at inflation, and then you also, number one, you want to look at utility value, right? You want to look at the utility value. What's the use case, right? Is it just a meme coin? Granted, meme coins do very well, right? Think of a meme coin like a Pokemon card. You know, remember Pokemon? Uh, you know, the parents, they didn't get it, right? I, I had Pokemon cards when I was like 10 years old. And mom and dad didn't understand it. But the kids did. And that's the that's the thing, right? So meme coins have their little niche. But, I, you know, is there utility in a meme coin? Maybe, maybe not. I think the utility value is just... Uh, the meme itself, right? The the just like a Pokemon card is a Pokemon card, right? So, uh, like XRP, I think has tremendous utility value, right? It's a payment system. It's on demand liquidity. There's um, different things you could do on the XRP ledger. It's there's a lot of utility value there. Um, so when you look at Bitcoin, does it have utility? Well. I, its utility nature is, um, to, for me, is a store of value, right? It's like gold. You don't touch your gold. You don't sell your gold. You don't use your gold. Where is your gold? It is in your safe. Bitcoin is good for nothing except being locked in a safe, keeping its value. And that's okay. That's fine. That's its role, right? It's just like a 1950s classic Ferrari. Are you going to drive that car every day? Heck no. You might drive it once in a while, right? Maybe go to a car show, cars and coffee, right? Take it out once in a while. But are you going to drive it every day? No, it's just like Bitcoin. Do you use it every day, right? Are people going to use Bitcoin for a cup of coffee, for this, for that, for this, for that, right? No, they're using it for a store of value, right? It was sold to us as a payment system, but it's impossible, right? Bitcoin, if Bitcoin was at a $10 trillion market cap and everybody, well, a lot of people were using it as a payment system. It, the, the fees would be astronomical. It would be like $200 just to send $50, right? And same thing with Ethereum, right? Because the miners and, and this and that. And that's why it's not good for payments. That's why XRP is and Bitcoin is not. But that's okay. Bitcoin still has a lot of value. So um, getting a little bit off topic, but I just wanted to clarify why people should be in the altcoins pick it needs to be utility look at the inflation rate look at the developers right and then also number one in my opinion is look at the chart that's the big thing is the market cap where is it at on the chart where is it at on the fibonacci lines where is it at um basically overall on the chart and combining all those things together my opinion is XRP is in the best position. And I had an XRP video out 
um, why why I'm bullish on XRP or something like that. Um, definitely, if you're interested in that, I would check it out. But um, and, and and granted, there's a lot of people who don't like XRP or they ignore it, right? Um, I don't want to give out any names, but you know who they are. They choose to totally ignore it. I, I, I guess I can give out one name and I'm going to be very nice. And I like the guy a lot. I, I respect him masterfully. I mean, the guy is, he's way smarter than me. He's a genius. Um, he is the Sheldon Cooper of crypto. You might know who I'm talking about. Um, his name is Benjamin Cohen. I highly recommend you subscribe to him. He's a brilliant guy. He has all the data metrics. Um, granted, he's been a bear this whole time, right? I've been a bull. Um, the whole year, we've been going higher. And his, his thesis was, you know, be in Bitcoin. And he's right. He was totally right. Bitcoin dominance um, has gone higher and higher and higher. And what did he do? He... He figured it out early on and he sold his altcoins into Bitcoin. And now he's reaping the rewards. He's He got it made. So now he has much more value, right? So for me, I didn't really want to take that risk because we had the SEC lawsuit with XRP and I wasn't sure if that was going to be a catalyst for a major breakout. And it was, but then it kind of dumped back down. So I was fine holding my alts. But if I were to have sold all my alts into Bitcoin, I would have been sitting real pretty. And now I have a lot more Bitcoin to show for. And now today, I could have sold that book Bitcoin into altcoin, right? That Because that's the thing. Bitcoin moves first, right? And that's why you always want to have Bitcoin because it oftentimes moves the market first. And when Bitcoin's pumping and pumping and pumping, that's when the alts kind of do nothing, right? So look at this move and then look at this move, right? Um, and then just kind of going back to my, uh, that Benjamin comment, his name is Benjamin Cohen. Like I said, the guy is a master. He's really awesome. But I, uh, uh, but I, when you look at his watch list on the side, he has ADA BTC, ETH BTC, right ltc btc but he doesn't talk about xrp he never even mentions it right he might mention it in a once in a blue moon but i think he's doing a disservice by not mentioning it only because it's a top 10 coin it, it it's basically number three in market cap aside from tether and 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 bnb right you don't really count those right i guess bnb you can but it, for me it goes bitcoin ethereum BNB XRP. So it's basically in the top three, top four. And when you, you got to take it seriously, right? You, you, I would, you know, talk about it more often and compare um, Bitcoin, whatever he's trying to emphasize, right? If it's, if, if he's trying to say this or that, um, you know, using, he, he, he uses ADA as an example, Ethereum, and that's fine. But he purposely, I find, chooses not to use XRP. And when you have a valuation as high as XRP, I think it's important to, to show it, right? And not just him. I'm not knocking on the guy. I, like I said, the guy is amazing. But that's just one example of many YouTubers out there who don't like to talk about XRP on their channel because it infuriates a lot of people. And that's another reason why I'm so bullish on it, right? Uh, people who hate things often lead to the biggest explosions, right? Because think about, I'm getting a little off topic here, but think about crypto as like a stone, right? And this stone has a lot of energy stored into it, right? So for example, uh, Bitcoin has a lot of energy. Most of it's love, right? Most of it's love. XRP has a lot of hate a lot of love, right? You either super hate XRP or you love it, right? Or there's a handful that, you know, really don't care. But all that energy, the, the hating, the loving, it all gets stored, right, in, in, in this container. And when that container burst, it really burst, right? Um, so just look at like random meme stocks that people hate, 
Like, for example, Dogecoin. A lot of people hated Dogecoin. They thought, oh, it's a stupid meme coin. It's not going to do anything, blah, 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 blah. And look what it did. It, it did one of the most incredible bull runs of 2020 and 2021. It increased in value more than a lot of the coins. It, it, it did a monster move. Dogecoin did the equivalent of XRP hitting $60. So imagine XRP hit 60 bucks. That would be unbelievable. That's what Dogecoin did. And it's just a random meme coin. A lot of people hated it. You know, they didn't like Elon Musk tweeting about it and, 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 and things like that. A lot of people did like it. See, Dogecoin had a lot of love, but it also had a lot of hate. And those are the coins I like because, it, you know, the controversial coin, right? It's a meme coin, XRP. It's a banker coin, right? The controversy, the hate, the love, all of that is like an energy source. So when things break, it, it often blows people away because remember, the herd is usually wrong, right? The majority of people are wrong. So when people, you know, fixate on things they hate or they love, right? Usually it goes in the opposite direction. So that's just one little thing. But I would not sell your altcoins for Bitcoin. Definitely not now. Heck no. So if you're thinking about selling your altcoin into Bitcoin because you see Bitcoin rising and rising and rising, I think you're doing a major, major problem. So here's the proof right here. So this is the grand finale right here. So check this out. So let me take my, let me put green here. So this is Bitcoin right here. You could see it's flying to the upside right here. Okay. And this is the equivalent of where Bitcoin is now. So think about that. See, so see this structure right here. That's actually the fractal that Bitcoin has been following. Okay. So you see all these lines down here, this line, this blue line, this line, this line, this line, this line. Look what they're doing. They're all going down. They're all going down. So this is going down. This is going down. This is going down. And all the coins are right here, by the way. So he has, do this is blockchain backers um, chart that I'm using. Hope he doesn't mind. But I'm doing it for the benefit of everybody. Okay. This is his chart. I highly recommend going to subscribing to his channel. But um, here's his coins right here. So he has XRP, ADA, VeChain, Link. Dogecoin, Ethereum. Okay, so he has all those coins right here. And look at all these coins. They're all going down. They're all going down, right? Down, 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 down. And look what Bitcoin's doing. Bitcoin's going up. All coins going down. And what does that do to people? That destroys them. That makes them sad, right? So what do they do? They capitulate. And where was the capitulation? right here see how let me zoom in right here so look at this line right here look at bitcoin so look right here this was the capitulation right there and that's sort of what needs to happen there's a lot of people out there right that will sell their altcoins into bitcoin and we need those people but that's why i made you know, one of the reasons I made this channel was to help people not make those decisions. This video, in my opinion, is probably one of the most important videos that I'm going to put out this year. And basically, you know, it's fine making videos on where the targets are and the chart and and making money. But what's more important to me is helping people make devastating mistakes, right? I made those mistakes. It didn't feel good at all, right? Imagine this right here. Bob sees Bitcoin going higher, altcoins going down. He sells his altcoin to go into Bitcoin. But then look what happens. Look right here. Let me actually make that brighter. Look what happened. Look at this monster move on the altcoins. So there's nothing more devastating than selling your coin for cheap to go chase something that already topped to then find out 
your coin was the winner all along. That is a pitfall, st stomach turning event. And it'll make you very nauseous. You might not sleep at night. It'll give you a lot of depression and anxiety. But you know what? You got to get over it. You made a mistake and you learn from it. So I like to say this. I made my mistake so that you didn't have to. Right? If you're listening to this video, um, hopefully it gets, hopefully, you know, give it a like so that more people can see it. If you're, if you're listening to this video, a lot of people um, out there who don't know this information would definitely benefit because I feel like I had to lose the money, make the mistake so that I can document it and share it with everybody else out there so that they didn't make the same mistake. Because I see a lot of it on Facebook and Twitter. And by the way, if you want to follow me on Twitter, go for it. I'll pull up my Twitter handle later on. Um, it's at Brandon Law XRP. So I'll, I'll show you later. And then you can follow me on Facebook too um, if you want. But uh, basically, I, I'm seeing a lot out there that people are conflicted right now because they really like their altcoin. They don't want to sell it, but they also see Bitcoin flying to the upside. So then it makes them want to sell it. So not finan remember, not financial advice. I could be wrong, right? I could be totally wrong. Bitcoin can go to a million dollars and your altcoin can go to zero. And it would have been the, the, the worst mistake why did I listen to this guy? You know, so but history shows us that is not the case, right? That is not the case. So let me expand this a little bit more. So right here, we have Bitcoin going up, altcoins going down. But then what happens, right? Bitcoin pumps big time, and that's where we are now. I believe we are right in this right here, right? And then look what the altcoins did. They barely pumped a little bit, right? So they went down and they pumped up, but then Bitcoin went like this. Right. So it's way up here. All coins are way down here. OK. And now it's getting even more uh, worrisome. Right. It's getting even more worrisome. But then. Right. Something happens here. Something magical happens. The all coins actually catch way up. You can't see it on the chart, but they they, they actually catch up even way higher than uh, Bitcoin does. So. Bitcoin's continuing to rock to the upside. The altcoins come down, but then they quickly catch up to Bitcoin, right? So, for example, let me take all that off. Bitcoin is right here. And the altcoins are down here. So, if you measure from here to here, let's say that's 100%, okay? But if you measure from here all the way up here, that's like 200%. I'm just giving an example. It could be it could be way more than that. I'm sure it's way more than that. I'm just using that as an example. So it could be 500%. So from here to here, 500%. From here to here, that's only like 100%. So that's why you don't want to sell your altcoins. Look at the pink line. That's how much Bitcoin has to go. Look at the blue line. And you can't see it on the chart, but the blue line goes even further. It goes way above um, the pink line. So you're, you have $100, right? Now you have $110. You have $150. You have $200. You have $500. You have $1,000. You have $2,000, right? Okay, that was Bitcoin. Now, let's say you sold your bit your all that was I'm sorry, that was altcoins. Let's say you sold your altcoins into Bitcoin. You have $100, you have 150, you have 180, 
you have 200, you have 500. So what would you rather have, 500 or 2,000? So I'm just giving you that, I'm just using that as an example, but you see what I'm saying, right? This is proof, and not just this, but there's there's other instances as well. The altcoins go, they're either going down or sideways, right? Bitcoin's going higher, altcoins going lower, but then altcoins catch up in a big, big, big way, right? So the altcoins way down here, it catches all the way up. Bitcoin's all the way up here, right? So that's like 50% of the move right there. So, uh, you know, I can't really interact with this chart because it's a screenshot, but believe me, it's not worth selling your altcoins. Here's another example just for ADA. So look at ADA, look at Bitcoin, right? Here's ADA, here's Bitcoin, okay. So Bitcoin's going higher, right? Bitcoin's going higher. ADA's dumping. So everybody and their grandma is freaking out, right? Let's say you have ADA but no Bitcoin. Or let's say you sold your Bitcoin in the ADA. So you have Bitcoin right here. You sold it into ADA. ADA falls. Bitcoin goes off. You feel like the biggest idiot in the planet. Why did I do that? I'm such an idiot, right? You know, it happens to everybody. If I buy the market, the market goes down. If I sell the market, the market goes up, right? You know those people. It's like, why did the market crash 20% today? Because I bought, that's why. And you know those people, right? Happens to everybody. Every time somebody buys, the next day it always dumps. I'm sure it's happened to you at least a dozen times. But that's okay. It's not a problem. Because why? Because we're hodlers. We're looking at the bigger picture here, right? So a, a, a lot of us think about tomorrow, the next day, the next week, the next month. But I'm saying look at least six months, right? If if you had Bitcoin right here and you sold it into ADA and then ADA fell and then Bitcoin took off, right? What do you do? Do you panic, right? Most people, what they would do is they would panic down here. They would then sell their ADA back into Bitcoin, right? And then Bitcoin pumps, ADA goes sideways. And then they feel like a smart person for a minute. But then what happens is ADA has a monster, monster pump. And Bitcoin has just a little tiny way to go. So what would you rather have? What would you rather have? ADA or Bitcoin? I would have rather have ADA because it's not about price. It's not about market cap. Well, sort of is, but it's mostly about percentages. Percentages mean more than anything. It's what will make you rich. It's what percentages, it, not the coin, right? If you like this coin or that coin or this coin, it doesn't matter. That won't make you retired. What will make you retired is percentages. Percentages mean more than anything when, when, when dealing with crypto and charts. It's all about percentages, right? So if you, like, for example, let's say I explain it to um, some grandpa. Hey, grandpa, he's 80 years old. What would you rather have? Bitcoin going, would you rather have something that cost $40,000 and then it went up to $50,000? Or, sounds great, right? Or would you rather have something that's 20 cents and then it goes up to a dollar? They're gonna say, I want the 40,000 to 50,000 because it's a big number, it sounds great. Like, that's a $10,000 move. Who cares? That's the dollar amount. We're talking about percentages. If you took right if if you had something that cost 30 cents or 20 cents and it went to a dollar that is so much more money than if you were to buy something at 40k and then it went to 50k right so don't look at the numbers right if bitcoin's up 500 dollars today that's nothing because it, it's all about percentages right for example casper was at three cents 3.3 cents today it's at four cents, four eight cents, right? Zero dot zero four eight three cents. Yesterday it was at zero dot zero three three cents. Guess what? 
It's up over 30% today. And it only went up one penny. It, because it doesn't matter about the price. It's all about percentages. I mean, a, a lot of you know that already. Right? A lot of us already know that. Okay. So, basically, I want to wrap this up here. But if you're thinking about selling altcoins into Bitcoin, this is not financial advice. I can't. I don't want to tell you what to do. You have to make your own decisions. But if I'm telling my best friend and I'm sitting down there and I'm talking to my best friend, I'm telling him not to do it because eventually now it, granted it depends on what altcoin you have, right? Some altcoins aren't going to be winners, but you know which ones could potentially be the winners, right? So um, I leave you with that. Look at this move. It went down. This is what we're experiencing at this moment. Bitcoin's going up, altcoins going down. Well, not down, but um, sideways. So for example, right here, um, ADA pumped and then it went sideways, right? It went down, up, sideways. Bitcoin went up, up, sideways, right? But then after that, then that's when the explosive move happened in ADA. And this is what we're waiting for right here. So the whole purpose of this is to wait for that monster move. And that monster move can happen within a couple days, maybe a week, maybe two weeks. Right? Look how long and methodical Bitcoin takes. It's, it's, it's like a slow, methodical grind higher because it's a big market cap. But these market caps that are less than 20 billion, they have these little bloop, 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 boom, and then they shoot up like a rocket, right? So there you go. That's, that's a great example right here where ADA dumps, Bitcoin goes higher, right? Then Bitcoin breaks out like we expected now, right? So imagine, so basically this is the fractal of Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is right here, which means the altcoin market cap is right here right so what we're waiting for is this so just take a minute so let's do this take a mental screenshot of this we have this pump and this bull flag right here and then we have this channel with this breakout right here right so i'll actually uh i'll actually save the screenshot Okay, so here we are in the live chart. This is actually what this is the live chart. So what it's the same thing, right? It's the same exact thing. Let me take a screenshot and I'll show you. So remember, remember what we just saw. So we have the bull flag, right? And what is it doing? It's, a, it's doing exactly what history taught us. By the way, the screenshot that was shown earlier was the previous bull run. And this is exactly what's happening right now. This is why I'm saying don't sell your alts, not financial advice. But I am not selling my alts, right? Because look at this. Look at Bitcoin. It's flying to the upside, just like in the chart below, right? And in, in the previous chart. But look at this. This was that bull flag. Remember the bull flag we were we would just we just looked at? And then look at Bitcoin. Remember Bitcoin, it broke out, right? So then what happens next? Right, Bitcoin will chill out, the bull flag will continue, and then what happens? Boom! 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 Boop! Boom! Boop! Right? Do you want a big boom or do you want a little boop? Right? So you decide it's your money, right? So there's the fractal right there. So I'll save it. So there you go. So here's the here's the example, right? Remember the bull flag? And then boom, here's the current chart. So look at it. It's exactly, this is Filecoin, by the way, and this was ADA, but it's the same thing, and it applies for all altcoins, or at least the majority of them. So this was back um, in 2020, when Bitcoin went from 14K, 20K, all the way up to 60K. Okay, and this was ADA, um just chilling very i i can't see the price on there um because that's not the actual price but i i don't remember what it was at 
but it was it was it was less than I think less than where it, way less than where it was now. So what did we see? We saw this bull flag, right? We saw Bitcoin going higher. We saw ADA going lower, and then we saw ADA going sideways in this bull flag. Well, guess what? Same thing that's happening now. We could see the same thing happening now. You saw, you could see, um, you could see this bull flag, right? And then you could see this channel, just like what Bitcoin was doing, right? And then what happens? It does this. So if you sell, not can't tell you what to do, but if you sell, chances are you're only going to get this little tiny move, right? So what do we want to see? We want to see altcoins bleed even more you go i can't take it anymore bitcoin is flying higher and higher and higher and altcoins are going lower and, and, and you know look at look at the altcoins right here let me take everything off look at this it's going down 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 look at bitcoin it's going up 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 this is a good thing. You might say, this is horrible. I'm losing money. I could have been in Bitcoin. I could have been making a lot of money. No, 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 no. You got to be disciplined. You got to be, you got to have your feet planted. Don't be chasing things. Keep your ground. Hold steady. Hold the line. Think about back in, in the war. Do you think they, you know, you remember the battles, right? They say, hold the line, hold the line. Because they're, you don't want to flinch. Because if you flinch, you're going to miss it, right? So it's the same thing in that example. This was the, this was the, um, the flagpole. This was the um, pullback, right? And then what we can expect here is maybe price goes even lower. Maybe it goes all the way down here, right? It continues to fall for another couple weeks and Bitcoin starts to continues to creep a little higher and then what happens right then the altcoins fly to the upside and then bitcoin continues a little higher right but look at the difference here from this percentage move 200 percent right versus this percentage move not even 20%. So I'm just giving you some cautious caution here. Um, and not just Filecoin, but a lot of coins look like this. Here is XLM, right? Look what Bitcoin's doing. It's flying to the upside. XLM is that bull flag, just like this bull flag right here. And look what happened after that. It's that blue line. You can see the blue line the purple highlight it shot way to the upside so looking for xlm maybe it maybe it's going to go now maybe it falls a little bit lower but regardless we're expecting a pump expecting a pump maybe it goes even lower expecting a pump right we just have to wait and i leave you with this warren buffett quote you may not like the guy but he's a billionaire and he knows things right the stock market is a device that transfers money from the impatient to the patient. Same with crypto. You got to be patient. Patience. Patience will win, right? How many billionaires do you see are traders? Not many, right? How many billionaires do you see that are investors? A lot, right? I'm not knocking trading, by the way. Trading is very difficult. That's why I only trade 10%. 90% of what I do is hodl, 10% trade, right? But you got to know what you're doing. So I suggest if you don't know how, what you're doing, join a trading discord or a, a trading community and learn how to do it, right? So basically, um, if not, just hodl. Hodling is the best thing you can do. And investors always win look, look at the show shark tank right do you think mark cuban is sitting behind a computer trading bitcoin hell no what do you think he's doing he's buying bitcoin he's hodling bitcoin he's not trading it he's hodling why because he doesn't have time hodlers are the winners 
right? Do you, look at Kevin O'Leary. Do you think he's sitting there looking at a Bitcoin chart, worried about where it's, the price is going to go? No. What, do he, what is he doing? He's telling his accountant, buy another million dollars, buy another million dollars, right? He's stacking. Stack, stack, stack. Hodl, hodl, hodl. Stack, stack, hodl, hodl. And don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And that is why I'm making this video is because this right here. Altcoins are going down, down. Bitcoin's going up, up. People are worried. People are trying to figure out what the hell's going on. And I'm letting you know this is all part of the process. In order for the alt, think of this. Bitcoin is, is the mama bear. And the uh, the altcoins are the 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 cubs right the 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 babies so the mama bear is leading her cubs right she is leading her cubs so same you know bitcoin bitcoin moves first then the altcoins right so you know think of the the mama bear is crossing the river and she wants to make sure it's safe. So she has to go first. So meanwhile, the cubs, they pull back. They're pulling back. They're waiting, waiting, waiting. Once um, the mama bear gets up here and says, okay, the air is safe, everything's safe. Then what happens? Boom, they catch right back up. So there you go. That That's why I say hodl the altcoins. So this is not your traditional TA video. This is just me explaining for a long time sorry about the videos long but i like to explain and explain and explain some more try to rephrase it differently try to um maybe you got exactly what i said the first 10 minutes right maybe it took some more time but the point is saying it and re-emphasizing it helps people understand more and more and more that what i'm trying to say here is to be patient because this down move is all part of the process. Bitcoin pumps up and pumps up more. People sell their altcoins into Bitcoin. Then Bitcoin pumps even higher. The altcoins go down even lower or go sideways. Then all of a sudden the big whales, they sell their Bitcoin into altcoins. Then altcoins pump up to 300%. Then people who sold their altcoins are wondering what the hell just happened. So there you go, people. Don't sell your altcoins, not financial advice. Um, so always do your own research. Um, if you're now granted, if you are a Bitcoin believer and you're holding for the next five to 10 years, then just hold your Bitcoin. Don't worry about it. If you have a lot of Bitcoin and not a lot of altcoins, then don't worry about it. But if you're looking for, you know, it, it's hard. So for example, let's say I have $10,000 worth of Bitcoin. And I only have a thousand dollars worth of altcoins, and Bitcoin is pumping, 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 and my altcoins aren't doing anything. At that point, it's psychologically hard for me, using me as an example, for me to sell my Bitcoin into altcoins when altcoins are going lower and Bitcoin's going higher. But I know that Bitcoin that is going to eventually stall out, and the altcoins are going to catch back up. Now, is that a guarantee? Absolutely not. Nothing is ever a guarantee. Remember, we are in a bear market retracement. So chances are we are going to see it at some point. But the question is, do we have enough velocity for uh, the majority of the altcoins to go? And that is where my next video comes in. I'm going to post that coming up soon, maybe today or tomorrow. I'm going to talk about total three. Total three is the altcoin market cap, the broader altcoin market cap. I'm going to talk about why I think it's incredibly bullish and why the altcoins are the place to be, not Bitcoin. So thank you guys for watching. I will catch you on the next one. If you can, if you made it this far, maybe drop a like, drop a, a comment. Tell me what you think. Are you selling your Bitcoin? Are you hodling Bitcoin? Are you selling into alts? Are you selling into Bitcoin? What, what, what are you guys up to? Let me know. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.